All right, what do we have here? I'm streaming this on Twitch right now just to see if how that works. I'll link to our Twitch in the description if you want to check that out. So I'm only live streaming this over there. I'll just release it later on YouTube. So who's this guy? I just, this is the officer Tat, Tatum. His name is Brandon Tatum. Is it how you say? I don't know. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. Gavin Newsom is the devil. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live. I'll make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. So Gavin Newsom, the, the worst leader in United States history out of California. This is what made me mad. I saw this article. And it, it literally blew my mind. And I'm telling you guys, I, I, I have some stuff in the works and, and I will talk about it later. But this story blew my mind, hmm. blew my mind that Gavin Newsom would suggest. And see, this is see, let me tell you how they work. Let me tell you how they work. They play these games. They play these propaganda games. They play these word games to try to fool you. But I know the truth. I know what's really going on in their minds. I, I do. I can tell them. You, you are what you eat, right? You, the, 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 whatever's in your heart is going to come out. You should know them by their fruits. He decided. And that's a Bible verse. That it, it sounds like a good idea to tell people at churches that they should not worship. They should not sing and worship in the church because of the fear of the spread of COVID-19. That seems like a legitimate concern to have. What's the problem with that? By the way, his, uh, I don't know if you can see it. His hat says Trump 2020. Um, all right. See, like he, like he was, was, we were waiting for, to see what is this so outrageous thing? What is it that he did? What is it? That, by the way, Gavin uh, Newsom, is that how you say it? That's the governor of California for people who don't know. But he's like, like I'm waiting for this outrageous thing that he has done that is so scary. Like people cannot worship in church because of the fear of COVID-19. Like that sounds actually pretty reasonable. So let's see what's the issue with that. Explain to me this. Okay. If you are requiring churches, and this is what Gavin Newsom said when he opened up the church again, to be at 25% capacity. 25% mm -hmm. capacity. That means that people are not very close to one another. Okay. It means people are not close to one another. Then you, and then people have the option to, I don't know if they require them to, to wear a mask. So you got a mask on. You can sing behind a mask. You can worship God. You can worship God in your silence. But Gavin Newsom, don't want, I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all. What's the problem with that? Yeah, that, that it's, not, it's not good enough. You know, it's a closed area. And given that we're, I don't know, is this the second wave right now we're dealing with with COVID or is it just the first wave getting worse? I don't really know. Um, but it's getting worse and apparently it's not good enough. And in, in you're in a closed area, maybe 25%, like 25% capacity is not enough. Maybe you shouldn't have people in closed areas um, sitting for close to each other. Maybe, you know, we think like, oh, they're not as close as before. Maybe that's not enough. How do you know? Are you like, have you looked at the, are you going to show us the uh, research or the um, medical experts that telling you like, oh, yeah, 25% capacity for most churches is enough. People are far away enough from each other. So there's no, there's no concern. Like, are you good? Or is that just your feeling that that's enough? Like, are you like, are you going to announce to us? Are you going to give us a disclaimer that you're not a medical expert and are you going to trust, trust the experts if they say that we shouldn't go to church, even if it's only at 25% capacity, that's not good enough? Um, you know, are you, if that's your opinion, are you going to tell us that you're not an expert and that we should actually listen to actual experts on what we should be doing? Or, or, or are you just going to use this as an opportunity to claim that these people have a different agenda which is they're using this as a way to attack people's religion, which I wish they were attacking people's religion, but they're not. Um, is that, is that, I mean, no, actually I don't wish you shouldn't do that from a position of 
government authority, you should let us do that. You know, we 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 do that for you. Um, but is that you're just gonna use this as an opportunity to scare your audience? Like, oh my God, they're coming for your religion! Hide your religions! They're coming for it! The government, the government is not gonna let you practice your religion. The evil government. They want to control the church. They want to control the church. That's yes, because you guys are. Yes, they should be controlling the church because you you guys are spreading disease. You are already spreading the disease of Christianity, but now you literally are spreading disease. He mentioned worship. Hold on, let's go back. Because they don't. I'm telling y'all, they want to control the church. That's why he mentioned worship, because they don't want you worshiping God. Really? Are you fucking? Are you serious? You really think that they, the governor of California is like, man, what do what should we do, man? These people, oh, these people, they're just worshiping God too much. How could we, this is what our concern is. People in California, how could we stop them from worshiping God? God come on, guys, come, brain, let's brainstorm, let's get together. How could we stop these Californians to stop worshiping? That's that's our priority. That's not their. That's our priority, by the way. Just to be transparent, that's not their priority. Are you? Are you goddamn serious? Are you? Are you kidding me? Like, oh, this COVID, this COVID nineteen stuff. This is this is the opportunity that we were waiting for. We were been trying. We have been trying to get to take people's worship right to worship away from them, but we never had the excuse until oh, great, this 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 disease is now finally, finally, we can pass laws that forces people out of their churches. Is that what you're suggesting, you goddamn idiot? They they can't constitutionally. They can't stop you from being in the house of God. But they want Wait, to tell what? you that you can't worship. Constitutionally, they can't stop you from being in the house of God. But they want to tell you that you can't worship God, that you can't serve God. Do you really? Is that what they said? That you can't worship God, by the way? Like you can't worship God from home? Like did they say like, do not go to church, do not worship God at privately as well? Like who stopped you from worshiping God? Nobody stopped you from worshiping God. You goddamn moron. You can still worship your stupid God. You just can't do it next to other people in a closed environment, in a closed space, because you'd be spreading disease. That's what the government. I'm a libertarian. I think the government should like we should we need to have limited government, and the government should not get itself involved in areas that it's not supposed to. But guess what? Protecting people from harm and and spreading disease is a role of government. The government. That's if if the government should get involved in one thing. This is one of those things. Like limited government doesn't mean no government. Obviously, those that's called anarchy. I want the government involved in this. In this is you know, if you can't see the role of government in this, I don't know where why we even have a government. They're supposed to protect their citizens from harm. The, a pandemic like this is harm, and you guys are spreading it. You can't sing. Like that's the point of church. That is church. You can't tell the pastor, hey, man, hallelujah. Really? Oh, yeah, that's what they said. Like, oh, yeah, yeah we are we're against the government. Like, we, ha we have to stop people from saying, hey, man, that's, that is what we have to say. Like, are you? Ugh. Come on, man. These people are devils. These people are devils. They're testing the water. They put a little bit in, a little bit in, see how far y'all going to go. Yeah. See how far you fake Christians going to go over to, China, to the Chinese propaganda side where they, you can. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, here's a question for these conspiracy nuts. Why? Why would like okay, fire, let's say your conspiracy is right. What is it? What the, what do they get out of it? What would the governor of California like? Oh, this we can't take their god away from them overnight. We have to test the waters. We have to see slowly. To what end? Why would they be trying to do this? Why would they and what does this have to do with China? The, the Chinese propaganda side, where they you can never be, you can never openly be a Christian. They are just dabbling in it. So when they find the right time to add in the LGBTQ plus two spirited monster, uh, uh, I call what? <laughs> what is what is this guy talking about? I can't believe like you guys that just said me to listen to this guy as somebody somebody to look up to. Are you guys serious?
The Monster Alphabet. The Monster Alphabet. <laughs> He's so good, man. The LGBT community, the monster alphabet. Honestly, that sounds pretty cool. I, I would I <laughs> that's what the LGBT community should start calling themselves, to be honest. That's that sounds pretty badass. We're the monster alpha. <laughs> oh yeah, how do we all of a sudden jump from like, oh, these people are going coming for your right to worship? And then the China all like, yeah, okay, first of all, we are all against the Chinese government. At least I hope like most of you guys watching this are against the Chinese government. Actually doing what this guy is pretending that United States government is doing. Yeah, United States has the First Amendment. People have the right to worship. That will not be taken away from you. Extremely unlikely, close to impossible. So this guy trying to fear monger you to see like, oh yeah, they're trying to become like China at some point. Yeah, you wish. You This guy wishes because then he will be able to build a bigger audience by scaring people but that's not going to happen in your country and you know that's not going to happen in your country and you're just trying to scare people into watching your videos and then how i don't know how does all of a sudden get got into lgbtq community what does that got to do with taking your right to worship away when they throw that in there not not the good conscious people let me let me let me clarify this okay clarify clarify this not the people. Man, look, you live in America, you can sleep with whoever you want to, you can date whoever you want to. Oh, thank I'm you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that permission. I'm about the people, the LGBTQ people with a propaganda, the, 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 with a mission to destroy the patriarchy and the nuclear family and all of the propaganda pushed by the organization, the alphabet. The alphabet. He's scared of the alphabet. Um... You know what this sounds like to me? You know what this sounds like to me? I, when I go to this hall, this... I don't know. I can't say it on YouTube. The, the the community of people who are associated with the baddies from World War II starts with an N. Um, those people, when I listen to their content in the darkest corners of the internet, they say, we're not against all... Mm, again, I can't... I don't want to... I don't want this video to get flagged and stuff. Against all of the J people, Abrahamic religion, you know what I'm talking about. We don't, we're not gonna, we don't hate all of them. We're just against the ones with the agenda on top that controlling the society, that they are the Zionist ones. You know, the rest of them are just the victims. That's you know this what reminds me of that like oh yeah we don't we're not against gay you could sleep with whatever you want it's fine you know go live your own disgusting lives it's a free country again I'm not saying that goddamn YouTube don't strike this channel down I'm just trying to I'm making fun of the people who are saying that goddamn um, we just are against the ones that what the people with the agenda what agenda are you talking about the agenda of giving the rest of them rights to be able to do to not be oppressed what other agenda could they have tell me what is this scary agenda that the lgbt community has that you're so scared like what what are, what are they doing that is going to harm you what is this agenda okay, i hope you explain not the people the alphabet organization and y'all know what the alphabet organization guys the alphabet organization is coming for you I'm talking about they're gonna link well, up no with telling. these people and they're gonna deem that churches are propagating hate speech because they're talking about uh heaven and hell and they're talking about you know how god ordains that there be a male and a female in the house not two males they i wish i wish that was the case yeah have you read this goddamn fucking book of hate have you guys read this they're coming after us they're taking out our YouTube channels down, our Facebook pages get strikes, our Twitter accounts get banned, and we haven't seen anything as close to the hate that this book promotes. You guys have complete immunity, apparently, because your religion. You guys, you, you know, people don't call your crappy ideas as hate speech. They should. Again, they shouldn't be. I don't. I just to be clear, I do not. I would not support you losing your platforms like we do because of the shitty ideas that you spread from the Bible. 
But it's the exact opposite of what you're saying. You guys, you and Muslims, you can spread your hate with without any consequences on all these platforms, even though it's way more hateful. I mean, we don't say anything hateful, to be fair. We attack ideas. These books attack people. You are actually your ideas are hateful. Our ideas are not. And yet we are suffering the consequences. And you have absolute immunity because you're a religion. And then you you come out like, oh my God, they're coming after us because they because of hate speech. Yeah, well, first of all, what you do is hate speech. Um, but I agree that you shouldn't be deplatformed or silenced because of it. You should be able to be free to spread your gut nonsense. But to act like you are the ones that are, oh my God, the devil standard is the other way around. They, they don't want to talk about that. And they're going to deem it hate speech and you're not going to be able to go to the church. You're going to lose your right to worship. You're going to lose your right to be in a facility. They already tried it out. With Nobody's taking your right to worship. It's just during a disease. Once the disease is away, first of all, even right now, you could still worship. Nobody's telling you not to worship. You could do worship at home. Once it, once this whole pandemic is over, you're going to be able to go back to church. What do you think is going to happen once the pandemic is over? Like, oh, ho, ho, we tricked you. La like, haha, -ha, you we fooled all of you. You're not, we're not gonna we're gonna make this ban permanent now, even without a pandemic. You, we're gonna stop you from going to church. Like, what, you think churches churches are gonna be outlawed even after the pandemic is gone? It's COVID nineteen stuff because it's it is unconstitutional for you to not have the freedom to assemble. That is in the Constitution of the United States of America, First Amendment. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you could still do that once the pandemic is over. They're not they're not telling you not to assemble. They're just telling you to wait just a little bit. Just wait for the disease to sp It's like okay, it's like okay, first this is covered on your the fact that you're assembling is not the issue. The fact that you're spreading the disease is an issue. What if you were like, "Oh, my religion requires virgin sacrifice." I'm like, oh yeah, sorry, virgin sacrifice is outlawed. Like, well, what about my right to worship? This is how I worship. I'm like, okay, we are allowed to worship, but unfortunately for you, virgin sacrifice has been outlawed um, under a different law. It's not the fact that you're worshiping that has been outlawed. It's the fact that you cannot sacrifice virgins. That's the reason. You could worship in other ways, but you can't sacrifice virgins. Sorry. Like, oh, so sad. Like, wow, these people are not respecting my rights to worship. Like, what the hell? It's not the fact that you you can't go to church. It's not an attack on, on your worship. It's, an, it's, it's trying to, it's, it's a law for a different purpose. You guys have, get so much privilege and so much protection from law, unlike the rest of us. But when the law is trying to be, uh, um, Enforce on all of us equally, you guys. For once, you think like you're being targeted. This is what it's like for you to be held responsible like the rest of us, and you it feels like to you like it's persecution just because you had the advantage for a very long time and you're losing it. That's what persecution feels like to you. But anyway, persecution, persecution. I always got use that wrong. This is where they're going, Persecute. ladies and gentlemen. Gavin Newsom is the it's spearheading it. Along with other people, just pay attention. Just watch out. You know, my boy uh, Marcus Rogers have been talking about this. You don't follow Marcus Rogers. You need to look him up. He's been talking about this for years. Before I even had a YouTube channel, I was following Marcus Rogers. Talking about how they're slowly but surely pushing an agenda. And they're going to accomplish the agenda. Y'all hear people like Alex Jones and them? I mean, listen. What's the agenda? Don't just think. Don't just write these people off. They own to something. What? There's no reason for them to even be talking about what goes on in the church. If people want to be in the church and they want to crawl on the floor and kiss each other for 30 minutes, you should be able to do whatever you want to do in the church in the house of God. What are you talking about? What if you want to do virgin sacrifice? They shouldn't that shouldn't be up to, to them to come and say, like, cut it out. You're spreading a disease. Of course, it's the government's responsibility to come and uh, stop that. You're hurting other you this is their job to protect the citizens that's the role of the government 
what 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 makes you think like you have absolute immunity from laws because you went into this house that, of your imaginary god? They want to tell you you can't you can't worship in the house of God, but they don't mind you protesting. Yeah, it's not about worshiping; it's about the fact that you're there. Like it doesn't matter if you're worshiping or not. If you are having people in a closed environment. You know, you're spreading a disease. It's the the worshiping is not the issue. The gathering in the closed doors, that's the freaking issue. Like, is this like look at this? This guy has like almost a million subscribers, and this video is getting 200 k views and mostly like oh 30k likes compared to only two like people like you guys, every single one of you who has liked this is an idiot. Like, how much like what are you guys talking about? Like you guys, you do not understand what the, what the agenda is for you to not be in closed in closed door and you like what what do you think is happening? Jesus, man, you guys are goddamn idiots. Okay, let's see what he's saying. Actually, he's going to bring up a comparison to protest worship in the house of God, but they don't mind you protesting and showing up at George Floyd's funeral. Well, George Floyd's funeral. Let's look at that. It was it outdoor or indoor? Because I know some churches managed to have some. Okay, so. Yeah, okay. I would be against, like, yeah, that is indoors. That's horrible. Holy crap. Yeah, that is wrong. Because this is another woke religion that is immune from, um, seems to be immune from a lot of government rules. So here, I'll be consistent. This is actually indoors. Jesus Christ, how was this allowed? This should not have been allowed. Neither your this should not have this should not have been allowed. And neither your church gathering. How about that? See? You see people have no problem with that? I have a problem with that as well. Like, why is this allowed? This is insane. They're not, they're even close to each other. At least they have the masks on. Yeah, that's insane. That should have not been allowed. But guess what? That is one funeral, and you guys have a shit ton of churches. They don't mind you crying and weeping on each other at, at George Floyd's funeral. I mind. But you can't praise God in the house of God? They don't take God. No, you can praise God somewhere else. Go do it alone until the pandemic is over. Seriously. What? Hold Listen, on. What this is say? not. Don't take God seriously. Did he just say what? Are you serious? They don't mind you crying and weeping on each other at, at George Floyd's funeral, but you can't praise God in the house of God. They don't take God seriously. They don't take God seriously. I hope so. They're for God, they're the freaking government. Why should they take God seriously? You're talking about the government. You're talking about the government. Of course they shouldn't take God seriously. They can take God seriously in their personal lives. They should... They, they, oh, my God. You live in a secular country. That's how it's supposed to be. Listen, this is not... Religion, the faith in God, the faith in, in the Most High, the faith in His Son, Yeshua... Whichever way you want to call it, the faith in the Torah, the faith in the Bible, okay. the New Testament, the, the faith in God, okay, Yahweh, you can call him Je Jehovah, whatever y'all want to say, the faith in God is not some game that people just... It is. It's the dumbest game of all time. Want to play yeah. like rolling dice or something? It, no, I God. wish it, I wish it was just that rolling dice. It's the most dangerous, dumbest. I almost said the R word. Moronic game invented and the most. Yeah, God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. According to you, according to you, why should the rest of us be ruled by your ideas? Why should the government take? Okay, well, you think all of that? Well, go go celebrate all of your shitty ideas. Like, why are you like, oh, this is how it is. So, okay, that's according to you. Why should the rest of society be concerned about what your dumb ideas are? All power 
and authority has been given to Christ. According to you. To rule the earth. According to you. Healing, deliverance, miraculous things happen at the power of God. What's and the, God has given ability through people as well to do the same things that Jesus did. What's that got to do with the now, government? How is that going to exist in the same realm as people's secular people trying to diminish God by saying, oh, no, you can't do the prayer because you might get COVID. Well, if God won't, if, look, God is in control. No, okay. He's like, oh, why do secular people? Well, because they, because they don't agree with you. Like, what are you going to do? Force your ideas on the rest of us? You want to spread the disease because God, your God apparently is in control? Well, if your God is in control, why are you even worried about the secular people and the government? It's gonna, it's gonna be what's gonna be. Why are you even worried about the government if you're, if you have God on your side? Let the secular people have the government on their side, and you have God on your side. Isn't your God more powerful? Just leave the government alone. Let them do what they want. You already have a, a powerful, you know, sky daddy on your side. Let us, let the rest of us have the government. If God wants you to have COVID, you're going to get COVID. If God don't want you to have COVID, you ain't going to get COVID. If, 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 if it isn't. This is, this guy is spreading. These are ideas that spread disease. And like, huh? I wonder if this guy goes out and like gives, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say something. Not this guy. Let's say hypothetically. I don't want to say something to, for, 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 for anybody to think I'm um, wishing anybody any harm. But let's say some other hypothetical not real religious person that says oh if god wants it it's going to happen anyways what if they find their toddler with a knife with a very sharp knife just playing games like just like let's say like a one-year-old running around with an extremely sharp knife is he gonna be like get that thing out of his hand or you're gonna be like well if god was you know i'm not gonna do anything God decides if he's going to get cut or not. If he, if he gets cut, that's what God intended to do. And if he doesn't, then that's also what God, God is in control. Or is this, is, is a, as any of these religious parents are going to go and run and get the knife away from this kid's hand? Of course they're going to go run and get the knife from their hand. They're hypocrites. Like, what, so what? You want me to, like, you want to do nothing about a disease that is spreading? This is, this guy is proving to you how dangerous their religious ideas are. God, if you want to get COVID, God, is, if, if, if you're, if God determines you're going to get COVID, you're going to get COVID. So let's just do what? Nothing? This is why these ideas are so cr dangerous. This is why even the, you, you know, you think like, oh, no, you know, as long as they're not harming the rest of us, it's fine. Let's say, you know, the ideas that are so moronic, they will hurt us at some point. You don't wait for them to become hurtful. You can see how dangerous these ideas are. This is why you don't wait for these ideas to become dangerous before you fight them. If they're not true, you fight them always. This guy is actually telling you. First, he said, like, what? He, 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 he makes a video to show you why. Oh, we were being under attack and our ideas are, are being targeted. And then at the end of the video, he shows us, first of all, his ideas are not being targeted. But then he's showing us at the very end of the video why his ideas should be targeted. Because you are spreading poison. God is in control. If God wants you to have COVID, you're going to get COVID. Jeez. If God don't want you to have COVID, you ain't going to get COVID. If, if, if it is in God's will for you to recover from COVID, like 99% of people in America, then you're going to recover from COVID. Wait, so are you not ever going to go to a doctor? Like, are you just not going to do anything? Do you wear seatbelts at all? Like, these are, like, really er dumb to the level of, like, you know how the early atheist memes were back in the day? And now we're like, okay, those memes are too basic. No, apparently they're not too basic because it seems like this is the this is a thought leader in the Christian community, and they haven't moved past, you know, Jesus take the wheel level of thinking. Y'all, y'all, what y'all forgot the spiritual power? You've got the power of the Holy Ghost. Well, I mean, what what's going on here? Anyway, I I I, I could talk about this forever, man. Mm. But back to the subject at hand, Gavin Newsom. No, no wonder you're a Trump supporter and others are trying to destroy 
our faith in God. They're trying to destroy church. They don't mind if you are atheist. I wish. I wish they're not. I mean, I don't wish because it's the government. We are doing that. We are trying to do that, not your government. Church. They don't mind if you are atheist doing stuff, but they, they'll, they'll come at you if you're a Christian. They'll... What are you talking about? It's the other way around. It's the other way around. We telling you, we atheists telling you like, oh, we think Islam is wrong. Well, we think it's Christianity. I'm like, oh my God, look, it's hateful. It's they're coming after our religion. Meanwhile, you guys like, oh yeah, God is going to burn you, roast you for eternity in hell. Oh yeah, we promote books that says you should be beheaded. Oh yeah, uh, you, you are lost. You're sinful. You are like, demonic devil of you know all lgbt people they're like disgusting behavior they're trying to like apparently their mere existence turns apart the fabric of our society and stuff like that oh yeah yeah these ideas okay yeah fine like yeah what well, is their religion just respect what they believe you think they don't come after us atheists you haven't seen them the, the entire world is never mind I don't want to play the victimhood Olympics, okay? But just to be clear, when I say they're coming after atheists, I'm not talking about myself, okay? So I'm fine. I don't want to claim like, oh, boo, look at me. They're coming after me. Uh, no, okay? I'm fine, okay? Every time I tell you guys that they're coming, the atheists are one of the most discriminated against uh, minorities in the world, I'm not including myself in that community, okay? I'm talking about other atheists. I'm... I have I feel I'm not a victim. I'm pretty fine. I'm okay. Shut the church. The first thing they want to close is the church. First thing they want to close is the church at 25% capacity. Say you can't praise and worship because the COVID-19 to get out there. Man, look, I care about COVID when y'all care about the COVID on these protesters. They out here, they ain't not social distancing. Protesters is outside. Okay, protesters are outside. And I would be more concerned about indoor activity. According to the data, outdoor is very hard for you to spread the disease. And I mean, but also if you if you could if that is even if outdoor is a concern, yeah, that should also be addressed. Um, but indoor is a lot worse than outdoors. Some of them ain't even wearing a mask, and some of them wearing masks because they robbing stuff. Wait, but also this is what about is this is classic what about is them. Oh, I'm going to be concerned about spreading diseases in churches when you, when you guys do that over there as well. So apparently you're going to spread disease because other people are spreading disease. So you're spreading diseases or should be allowed because other people spreading disease is being allowed. They ain't even wearing masks out here. And y'all talking about churches. Anyway, I can talk about this for, I don't know, 10 more hours. But I want you to watch the rest of my video because I got a whole bunch of bangers today. All right, that's enough of this.